Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Tiffany and this is CMM Designs. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by and seeing what I'm up to today. Today is Amigurumi Monday and I was hoping that I would have this product or this product this project finished for you guys today and well I don't. <laughs> um, I ran into a problem. I ran out of polyfill so I had to wait till this weekend and my awesome husband took me to Joann's. They were having a sale on polyfill 25% off and they had this big old five pound box of polyfill for $25. Um, so it says you can make at least 25 six inch stuffed toys, at least five 15 inch stuffed toys, at least five 18 inch pillowcases, at least 40 square foot of snow or cloudscape, at least one 30 inch floor pillow, at least one poof, which I think would be super fun to do as a future video um to make a floor poof and i think it would be so cool because i can make one if we go back home i can make one for my kids as like little play area or i can make one for my craft room it'd be really cool and then it says you can make at least one medium sized pet bed with this so i should have enough to do me for a little bit um so i went and picked that up um, and then you guys seen my little Dollar Tree haul that I did. I posted that on my um, community tab. And I do have a question for you guys that I'm going to ask later on in the video. And you guys just let me know. Be honest with me. Um, I wanted to also thank a couple people for shouting me out. That was really awesome. I do appreciate that. Um, and if you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's only a click away. And you can see what I get into in the future. So, let's get into today's video. I'm going to move this stuff off my lap. I just hope I don't forget to share that with y'all. Okay, so this is part of my Amigurumi project that I'm working on. It is not done by no means. Um, I started this last night and I'm not the best at the... Um, what do they call that? Embroidery? Um, I'm not the best at it, but you know, it's handmade, so it's okay. You know what it is. They're little snowflakes, right? If you don't, that's what they are. They're snowflakes. <laughs> and then here's the handle that I made. Um, so this is going to be a hot cocoa mug. Um, I have to fill the top in with a little bit more polyfill. I want it super plush. And then I'm going to go in with this Red Heart Super Saver in the color coffee. And it's going to be like the hot cocoa. And then on top of that, I have to make little marshmallows to put on top of the hot cocoa. So that'll be fun and exciting. Um, if I had it, it'd be really cool to do like little um, candy canes and um, sprinkles and stuff on top too. But I don't have that. But it'd be super cute if I could. This guy's good. Is it good? Do you want to show your project real quick? You don't have to. You can hand it here. My daughter finished some projects and she's really proud of them, so she wants to share those. Catch him. Don't play. She has one knit project completed and she has one crochet project completed. Okay, so this is. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> so this is her little dog. This is her dream dog. She wants a. Um, what is this called? Basset hound. So she has this little old basset hound that she loves to death. And um, she crocheted him. At first, it's going to be a circular, like, mat for it to lay on. And then she decided that she made him, like, a little cape. It's his blanket and his cape. It's his blanket and his cape, she says. So, she made that for him. Isn't that so sweet? So, she used Dollar Tree yarn. And um, it worked up really well. I'm so proud of her for finishing a project. And she clips it right here on him. It was cute. <laughs> So she's 11 and she's crocheting and knitting and I'm so proud of her. So there's that project. Okay. What's the next project? Okay. Then she picked up some of my leftover yarns from the Summer Blossom Mandala Blanket. Um, and she knitted this up. She there's did. a piece of paper from where I was hmm. stuff up. Oh, I think it's off there now. Oh, uh, where's those knitting needles? Oh, here they are. She used these knitting needles that I had picked up at Michael's. These are the US 19. They are a 15 millimeter. And these are Susan Bate knitting needles. And she used, was it, let's see, one, two. Used three strands, right? Yeah. 
Three and then two. Three and then two. Okay. So she used three strands here. I'm not exactly sure what the colorways are. I do have them, but they're down in the um, truck. I had double skeins of each. Um, so she used three skeins here. And then she ran out. So then she went into just the two skeins. Which I think is very cool. It gives it a unique um, transition. Put, it Put it on my neck. Okay. So she says she's making this for me for Christmas and I'm not allowed to use it until Christmas. So she's gonna put it up and everything. But she made a little cow. I am so proud of her for finishing up a project. I am nowhere near done with my super scarf and she finished this and I think it's super cute and fun. So yay to Chloe, my oldest, she's 11 like I said, for finishing two projects and one is knit and one is crocheted. So I'm super proud of her for that. And she used up scrap yarn. Which is awesome. Okay. So, back to what I'm working on. Uh, so, I got to work and finish up this hot cocoa mug. And this is part of the pattern. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. The pattern is from Muffy Corn on Etsy. I love her patterns. And um, so, this is called, I think, I don't know if she names hers or not. She's ha She's got to. I think it's the hot cocoa gnome. Um, this is my gnome. And he's not finished either. And I did do some different things. You know, I've always got to put my little touch on it. So I ended up, she had white trim on his hat. And uh, she just puts marshmallows on his hat. And she puts a marshmallow right here. I will add the marshmallow right here because I think that's just so cute. I did, uh, at first, I started out with this little pom-pom that I had made. And I had different trim on. And I was going to put the little pom-pom right there. Um... But I scrapped that idea and I put the little bow there and I'm going to put a marshmallow there and I'm going to put the marshmallows around his hat. I don't have those made yet. That's part of what I've got to finish up. Excuse me. And then she had, like I said, white trim right here, but I had this eyelash yarn from uh, Dollar Tree and I wanted to see what that would look like and I love it. It adds just the perfect little touch of holiday festive cheer and I love it. And I even went ahead and added the arms before he was finished. I know, oh my gosh. <laughs> but, uh, so I did his little red arms and then I put the, you know, skin tone there. And then I added some of that trim onto the bottom of his sleeve. So, super cute, I love him. Um, he's not my favorite, I'm still gonna be honest with you. I love that tr Christmas tree gnome and I love the pumpkin spice gnome. I think those are my two top favorite in the gnome category, but he's gonna have his big old cup of hot cocoa and um, he's gonna have marshmallows on his hot cocoa and then like his cup of cocoa is almost as big as he is, but I think that's cute. So that is what I am working on currently. Like I said, I would have probably had it finished, but I did run out of the polyfill, so grabbed it. And, and I did share my Dollar Tree haul on um, my community post. And there was a couple things that I got that did not get put in the post, like jingle bells and stuff like that. But I did want to share with you guys, like, up close and personal, some of the things that I did use. Oh, yarns I used for my um, gnome. Now I've lost them. So you always know I use this taupe color in the Craftsmart value yarn for the noses and the hands. I used two and a half skeins of this Just Yarn Premier. It's a Dollar Tree yarn. This is red. I have used, and I will use more because I have to make the uh, marshmallows. I've used about um, not even half a skein of this Just Active Worsted. I've literally only used it so far for the um, trim on the cup, the brim of the cup. Um, and then I used, I don't know where it's at, hang on. I think it's in here. Maybe? I don't know. I've misplaced it, go figure, that's like story of my life. Okay, well, I've got the red one right here. So, I used the Just Yarn Eyelash, Premier Eyelash Yarn. Um, in the green way for him. And then I used 
the Crafter Square Mini Bows. You can get these at the Dollar Tree. I used the green one. And I put that on the top of his little hat. So I got those. I like these. I think it's just fun to embellish with. And then I found these at the Dollar Tree. Now these I have plans for. Um, I want to make a snowman. And I thought this would be cute to embellish the snowman. And I also want to make a moose. <laughs> and I think that would be really cute. Like as a little bow tie. Or if I can make a boy and a girl. Or if I make a girl. If I make a girl when I could. You know do little pigtails. Whatever I decide to do. So I grabbed those because I love the, the buffalo plaid. Oh. And then I wanted to share this stuff right here. Because this is awesome for um, amigurumi and stuff. So I said I wanted to make a snowman. Well, I came across these specialty pom-poms. Sorry for the crinkle. These are from Crafter Square, Square as well. These almost look like um, they are made out of moss or like those uh, really poor sponges. They're very, they feel fun too. Like they're very dense. So I found them in these two colorways. I thought these were super fun. I could use these for buttons. I could use them for noses. Like so many ideas that I could do with these. So I picked up those. Now, last thing I'm going to share with you guys as far as my little haul that I had. And then I want to talk to you guys about a couple things. And then I will let you guys go. So if you're still here. Um, so here is the pom-pom trim that I got. I love this. It be used. It is for. Um, I can use this for my amigurumi. I could use this for like sewing if we go back home. Like I have so many. And there's three yards of it. Three yards of it. I could only find it in the green. So I picked up what I could find. And then. I said one more thing. Okay, and then I found this. So this is just a piece of ribbon and it's got the little twinkle lights in it. So I've already put batteries in it so I could see what it looked like. And it just lights up. It's not very long at all, but you could always use these for your amigurumi. And I thought this would be really fun on a Christmas tree gnome. So that's what I'm gonna try to put on one of my Christmas tree gnomes that I make. So I thought that would be really fun. Because I don't know if I'm going to be able to go back to uh, Hobby Lobby in order to get um, some more of that, like, metallic, shiny yarn. And I did go to Joann's to get the polyfill. And I lit did go through and I looked through their yarn. And I didn't really see any of that metallic-y. I don't even know if I still got it over here. The metallic-y um, green yarn that I used for him. I use, it just makes him so awesome. But I don't know if I'll be able to go back. So if not, I can always add a little bling with other items. So um, I wanted to share with you guys an idea. And you guys can tell me, yeah, you would be interested. Or not really. That's not your kind of tea. <laughs> I just want to see, first off, who would all be interested if I do go about doing this. Now, this some of this yarn is, well, all this yarn is mine right now. <laughs> but some of this yarn is like my personal yarn. I will go back and get you guys some if you are interested. I wanted to do a Christmas giveaway. Now, um, my husband was like, well, you said you weren't doing a giveaway till you got 250 subscribers. That's true, but that was for like my milestone, like, yay, we've made it, you know, kind of thing. It is Christmas and it's the season of giving and I love giving, so I wanted to do a Christmas giveaway. Okay. You <laughs> just said so. I did, I did tell him. I was like, but it's Christmas. So it would come in this kind of bag. Um, I don't know how much these are to ship, but this is what I would ship in. And once it was full, I would be done. So um, I do have a couple items here already. Like I've got you guys a book and I'll go into further detail with all this. Um, there's a couple skeins of the Crafter Square yarn in this navy blue that I was gonna give you guys. Um, there's a couple in the red, they don't have the ball bands. So you guys let me know if that would be an issue for you all. But it is the same as the navy blue. So I mean, if you needed specs or anything, you could just read off this one. Um, so I had two of those, they've never been used. They just double scanned the blue ones for me. Um, I even picked up some of the pom poms, like got you the glittery ones and the plain ones. Um, I would pick up, this is the thing, would you be okay with Dollar Tree yarn? Um, so I would get you guys a couple, your skeins for the green, 
these are my skeins of the green. <laughs> I get you guys a couple skeins of the green. I get you guys a couple skeins of the red if you wanted that. Um, or, you know, that just got you the red and the other kind. I would get you a couple skeins of the um, eyelash yarn. I'd get, you, I think they only had red and green. Um, I'd have to check when I went up there. And then I would get you a couple skeins of, where did it go? Of the white you know, the Christmas tree colors, and then, you know, the blue, but that would just be extra. And then I have got these little, um, I got these little bags at the Dollar Tree. It was a three in a pack. And inside of them, like one of them has some of the like little tags that are like leather tags that I got off, uh, I think I got these off of Amazon. So there's a couple of the squared ones. It's got like a little uh, yarn ball on it. It says handmade. These say made with love. Or I think it says made with love. Handmade with love. It's got a heart. And then this one says made with love. Like there's a few different ones in there. And then I got this with a couple, uh, three darning needles and a little metal one in there. And then some plastic um, stitch markers. Um, so that's in this little bag. And then in this little bag, I've got, I went through all my eyes that I have. I don't have a ton of eyes, but I did share with you guys. And they all have backs. So you got like green ones, blue ones, gold ones, brown ones, red ones, okay. solid ones that are just like black. And then you've got some that's got clear on them. You've got a pink nose and a brown nose. But yeah. So you get a little bag of all the little eyes that I have to share. And then I bought Jingle Bells and I had so many of them. I was like, you know what? I'm sharing the love. So I gave some red and gold in the little ones and then big ones in the gold, which is what I have. And I got those for my um, Christmas tree gnome if I use them on that. If not, I'll use them on something else. But I got that. And then the Boyd hooks that I went and purchased, uh, I've First of all, I got this at Michael's, probably 50 cents or something. Um, I got me one and I got you one. And then I got me one in like the rainbow. Um, they were all 50 cents on like 80% clearance or something like that. I don't remember. It was a little bit ago. But I put all the Boyd hooks in here and I have not touched them since I bought them. I tried one out and it's not that they're not bad. It's not, they're not bad. They're not bad hooks. They're Boyd hooks. They're awesome hooks. Or Boy hooks. I think they're called Boy. Boyd, boy, whatever. Um, they're am, they're am, 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 How do you say that? They're for arthritic, arthritic hands. They've got the grippies on them. They're awesome hooks. They're like forty five dollars originally, and I did get them on sale. I used a coupon and got them for like twenty bucks. Um, but I just, I really am in love with the prim hooks. Prime prim. I really love these hooks. So I use these more than I use anything else. Um, so instead of them just sitting, <laughs> not getting used, why not give them to you guys so that you can use them? And I do have some, um, I've got this big old thing of polyfill, but I think I have some like little bags that come in amigurumi kits that I might throw in there so that you have everything you need to make an amigurumi. Um, so yeah. Would you guys be interested in that? Would that be something that you guys, I know it's Dollar Tree yarn, but you know, there's some people that can't get Dollar Tree yarn and really want some. So I thought it'd be a fun giveaway. You guys let me down out, do, blah, let me know down in the comments if you guys would be interested in that giveaway. I would go get the yarn this weekend if I get a good outcome for, or feedback from you guys. And, um, I would probably do, probably let it run until probably like December 1st, because I want you guys to get it before Christmas, um, but I'd probably run it around December 1st or something like that, and I would have to look at a calendar, um, and then draw the winner. Of course, you know, this isn't the where you enter for it. This is just, hey, would you guys be interested in a little holiday cheer giveaway? Um... And it's kind of amigurumi related, so I wanted to throw it in here and see what you guys thought about it. Um, but if I wait till like December first before I do the giveaway, like announce the winner, that gives me enough time to know if we are going back to Tennessee. And that gives me enough time to get back down there, 
And um, I would buy the yarn this weekend though, in case I can't get the yarn back in Tennessee. So um, that give me enough time to get back down there and get settled. And then I could give you guys, you know, announce the winner and get it out for you guys. And then if we're staying up here, that gives me plenty enough time to uh, look and see if I can find any more goodies to shove down in there. But you guys let me know about that down below. And then for the 250 subscriber giveaway, I would also like your input on that. I know we haven't reached that goal yet, but you guys are awesome and I know we can get there. Um, but for that giveaway, I have ideas, but I don't know. I guess we could talk about that later on once we get closer to the goal. Like I'm thinking an Etsy gift card or um, go and buy like a kit for you guys to make something. Um, I could give away one of my amigurumis or something or, you know, I want it to be a substantial giveaway. This one's just a little, I love you guys and I want to say thank y'all for being subscribed to my channel. I really do mean, it, it means a lot to me. And it's Christmas time so it's the season of giving and I wanted to give to you guys. So, y'all let me know down below in the comments, and hopefully, I will have this little, uh, little get up done. <laughs> uh, I should have it done by Wednesday. I do know that today I'm going to work as hard as I can to finish him, but I do need to work on my other projects that's for tomorrow. Um, I have that knit, knitted scarf I need to work on. I ain't worked on it a lot. And I did work on my um, Christmas Eve crochet along, Christmas Eve wishes blanket crochet along a little bit, but I haven't gotten a lot done. I was hoping to get the whole snowflake portion done for this tomorrow's video, but it's probably not going to happen. I don't think I can crochet that fast. But I also said I was going to take my time and do it right and learn from the process because I've never done tapestry crochet before, so... I'll show you what I got done tomorrow when I get it done. Um, but yeah, I think that's all. I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to let you guys go. I appreciate y'all. If y'all stay till the end, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, let me know down in the comments if you would be interested in that Christmas cheer giveaway. Um, and I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Bye.